Hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to do advanced lightning. Now I've already got my clip here but what you do is you can just drag and drop the clip into this bit of After Effects. So I'm just going to make a new composition. Okay so I've got my footage here and this is me going like that. Like a weirdo but one is lightning there, I won't like much the like weirdo but right, whatever right. Okay, so when you've got the clip selected, go to effect generate and then advanced lightning. Now you'll see this, you've got this here. You wanna go to composite original first because that's how you've got the black because it's not that bit's not ticked I had no idea what was going on when I first had got used After Effects um, and to a strike this will work just to say this will work on any of the Adobe After Effects CS6 but um, it'll also work on uh, CS3, 4 and 5 and 5.5 and things I, I don't really know the difference between the 5 and Six, except this has camera motion track and stuff but anyway so here you've got like glow settings you can change the color core settings all that you can change the width and everything of it I'm not going to muck about too much and go through all this but um yeah that's that's you can just play about with that I'm not really going to change any of that but if you want to change the look of the lightning, you'll, you know to go to settings. So you want to do get in the place where you want it to start. So just go like that. Put the two circle thingies on top of each other, and then once it's in the right place and you're happy with where it is, just go here and click the stopwatches, and that'll turn it on keyframing. So whenever you uh, move it, it'll add it as a keyframe. So and you would do the um really in a movie and stuff you would do this frame by frame but I'm just gonna go along like this like that so just wait a minute so I've opened my hands like that and I've got I'm gonna move that there and I'm gonna move this bit here um I'm just trying to get this to look I'm trying to get this to look good for Tordial but I didn't really, I wasn't really bothered but I'm just doing this really quickly. I've done way better, well not way better because I'm not that great at this but yeah gradually do this over time. It doesn't really take long if you're doing it like what I am just like this but what what I would recommend doing is doing some parts like this and then some like mega parts like where you move a lot like this and then some other parts frame by frame depending on what it's like and like that just move my hands there just go like that Sometimes when you can't notice a difference on where your hands have moved, but let's see that bit moved there, and that was like that. And now my hands are going in the way, and then just move it. So technically, when I'm in the thing, well, not technically, but basically, really, when I when your hands move, you just put it into the correct position. And yeah, it's technically that you're fixing like that, and then you just put them on top of each other like that, and there you go. So now I'm just gonna pre-render this to see what it looks like. So by clicking this button over here, the very side, as you can see I'm getting a preview. And at the start, that was too quick, but you'll just get a quick preview as it's going. This isn't the actual video playing. It's getting ready for a preview so it doesn't stop halfway in between when you're doing it. Like that and in like that. Now 
Now that's not very good and then I'll just play like that. As you can see it's like that. Mm. Uh, okay, now that's not very good at all. I can do way better than that. But say, for example, I was like here, and I go, uh oh, that bit should be over there. Well, you don't need to go back and change tons of keyframes. You just like advance light in here to get it out, these bits up, and then you simply just move it like that, and it won't affect anything else. I affect how fast the speed goes, but the performance will look ex the whole movement of the lightning will look exactly the same if it, as it did. Like here, you can see. I'm just gonna I'm sure there's a mistake here. That bit that should be like that. But yeah, that's basically how you do it, and. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If it helped, please, please like, put the thumbs up. And if you've got any questions or anything like that, just comment. I can't guarantee I will be able to answer your question, but I'll try my best. And um, please subscribe if you like these videos. I will be putting more up. This is my first After Effects tutorial, but I'll be putting more up. So. If you find these helpful, this helpful, then I would recommend subscribing. Okay, thanks for watching.